Hello everyone, Trooperhorn23 here, and today I'm going to show you how to install vehicle textures for your police cars. Now the process of installing vehicle textures is quite simple, but it can be a little complicated for some people. I got this video request from John Nagengast, and I'm going to make the video today on how to install the police textures for vehicles. So I'm going to be installing what's called the City of Los Senos Police Pack, but you can pick any vehicle texture you want. I'm going to be installing this pack today. It looks really nice. It works really well with the Tickle My Elmo vehicle pack, which is the pack that I use. But if you wanted other vehicle textures and you want to look around, then you just go to Google and type in LSPDFR, and of course you want to go to the LCPDFR.com. And once you're here, you go to Downloads and you see vehicle textures right here you can click on this and scroll all through these textures you can find there is so many textures for vehicles but I will be installing this texture here and if you want this texture it looks really nice I actually love this pack it has the the blue flag on the front city of Los Santos it's a very beautiful blue um, you can go ahead and download this the link to this pack will be in the description and just hit download this file and drag it out to your desktop like I have right here. And once you have it downloaded, we can open OpenIV or Open4, whichever one you want to call it. Of course, click on Grand Theft Auto 5. Today we will not be needing the main directory going through Windows Explorer. We only need OpenIV. And once you're in OpenIV, when we want to navigate to our vehicles file, which is going to be located in the mods update time 64 dlc packs the latest patch day which for me it's patch day 22 as of april 2020 once you're in patch day 22 go to dlc.rpf time 64 again levels gta 5 and vehicles.rpf and if you followed my earlier videos you should already have this under your favorites tab if you don't know how to do that i will show you right now all you do is navigate to the actual file like we just did the vehicles.rpf Go up to favorites and hit add to favorites and then hit add and you can name it whatever you please. And once you add it to the favorites, when you first open OpenIV, you can literally just go up to favorites and hit vehicles.rpf and it brings you right to it. Now this is going to be vehicle specific, these textures, so first what you need to do is figure out which car you want to add it to. I am adding this texture to my 2018 Dodge Charger and I already know that this is my police and you can double click on these .yft files and it'll open a window that looks like this and this is my 2018 charger but you may need to go through all yours and try to figure out which vehicle you want to change like this is my FPIU and um, my police B is my um, state trooper this is actually supposed to be a police spike but I didn't like it so I replaced it with a state trooper but anyway just go through and find whichever vehicle you want to change out the textures for and once you find it like mine is police we want to go down to the dot ytds which are the little gears on the piece of paper I guess and what this is is it's your actual texture directory so here's my police dot ytd and you want to go ahead and make a backup of this just in case you don't like these textures so go ahead and go into edit mode in OpenIV and hit extract and you can just extract it onto your desktop I have already done so it is located right here but you want to go ahead and open what we just downloaded your textures and it's gonna have four folders in here City of Los Santos Police Fleet Patrol Slick Top and Ghost I'm gonna go into the patrol divisions because my charger is not slick top and it's not a ghost um, but you could actually install the ghost pack if you want but I am not today I'm going into the patrol division you can pick between textures 2k or 4k this depends on your GPU and how much power is available of course if you have a lower end PC you want to pick the 2k if you have a higher end PC then you will you can pick the two the 4k sorry I'm going to install the 2k textures and once you go in here, we're going to have a bunch of different files here. But like I said, I'm putting mine on my 2018 charger. If you had a 2014 charger, you would obviously go into this one, a 2019 Tahoe. You'd obviously go into that one. And here is the Elmo pack, which is what I have. The Silverado, I actually don't have that. The Dodge Ram, 
the CVPI and the Taurus. But um, I'm going to use the 2018 Charger, but again, you obviously want to pick whichever car you are putting it on. So I'm going to go into this 2018 Charger folder and it's going to have a Liber Liberty Charge sign. Go into that and we have four images here. Now we want to select all four of these and just drag them out to your desktop just like this. So now they are all out on the desktop. And we want to go back to OpenIV and open this police.ytd or whichever vehicle. Again, this is me specifically is the police.ytd. Yours could be police old 2 or police old 1 or FBI 1, FBI 2, but this I am opening the police because this is the vehicle I want to change. So once we open your .ytd minus police, we want to hit import in the upper left corner right here. And it should open to your desktop if it doesn't just hit desktop over on the left and you literally just select Liberty Charge Sign 1 double click it hit import again hit Liberty Charge Sign 2 and 3 and 4 and after you're done with all those you can hit save at the bottom right and it may take a little moment in order to do so but once it is saved we are done. That is literally how you install textures. All right, so it is finished. We can go ahead and X out of all these and delete the uh, pictures off your desktop if you want. And we can go ahead and head on into the game. Before we get in game, guys, don't forget that I do have a community Discord where you can come in here and hang out and talk with other people that play LSPDFR. Also, if you need help, I have four help channels available and a team of helpers that are able to diagnose your problem and try to resolve it. I'm usually on all the time too, so feel free to come in here and tag me personally to help you out. And I feel like with this video I'm going to get, uh, you guys will probably need some help because while this is quite simple, it is very specific for each car. And I'm also looking for new members all the time. The link to join the Discord will be in the description. So once we're in game guys, I'm going to go ahead and just spawn in the police car using the simple trainer. Uh, no, I do not want to go to that call, but I'm going to spawn in my police cruiser and you now see that the texture is here and It just looks phenomenal. I love this texture so much But to be honest, I'm cut between the default textures and this one But I mean this just looks so good. So yeah guys that is how you install vehicle textures for LSPDFR that's going to do it for today's video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I'm approaching 200 subscribers that's crazy because I still remember when I was under 100 subscribers. Um, yeah, so be sure to subscribe and like and keep an outlook for more, more videos. Join the Discord and give me some video suggestions, guys. I am running kind of low on ideas here. And yeah, I'm always looking for more suggestions. I can install pretty much any mod and show you how to use it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope you installed the vehicle textures.